This is what we're making today, Lotus Flower Crisp. First, we're gonna make a dough. We're gonna call this dough, dough number one. In a bowl, we're gonna mix 100 grams of cake flour and 20 grams of sugar. We're gonna give this a quick mix and then add in 15 grams of butter and 40 mils of water. We're going to bring it all together and make the dough. This is the dough. We're going to wrap this in cling film and let it rest for 30 minutes. Next, we're going to make dough number two. This is exactly like dough number one except the water has two drops of red food coloring. So again, we're gonna mix 100 grams of cake flour and 20 grams of sugar and then mix. We're gonna add in our 40 mils of red food water coloring and 15 grams of butter and then make another dough. Once all mixed up, this dough should turn pink. And this is dough number two. We're gonna wrap it in cling film and let it rest for 30 minutes. Next, we're gonna make dough number three. This is simply 120 grams of cake flour and 80 grams of unsalted butter. We're gonna bring this all together and then set the dough aside at room temperature for 30 minutes. Do not put this dough anywhere cold or it will harden like a rock. This dough is made out of 40% butter, so it should feel very buttery in your hand and you should smell that buttery aroma. While our doughs are resting, we're gonna make marzipan. In a bowl, we're gonna add in three quarter cups of almond flour and 70 grams of powdered sugar. We're gonna give this a quick mix and then add in 20 mils of water and half a teaspoon of almond extract. Traditionally, this dessert is made with lotus paste, but in game, it's made out of almonds. So that's why we're making a marzipan. We're gonna cut this marzipan into portions, weigh it out, and then set it aside. Each portion should weigh 25 grams. All right, we're going back to dough number one. We're gonna roll this dough into a log and then cut it into portions as well. Each portion should weigh about 30 grams. We're gonna roll it into a ball and then set it aside temporarily. Now we're gonna go to dough number two. We're gonna do the exact same thing as we did to dough number one to this dough. This dough should also weigh 30 grams. And lastly, we're gonna do the same thing to dough number three, except we're gonna weigh it out to 20 grams a piece. All right, let's go back to dough number one again. We're gonna flatten the dough out and roll it with a pin. We're trying to form a circle here but in my case, it's more of a square. In the middle of dough number one, we're gonna put in dough number three. We're gonna wrap dough number three with dough number one, enclosing it and pinching the edges like this. Once the dough's wrapped, we're gonna form it into a sphere. After making the sphere, we're gonna flatten this dough again with our palms and then roll it out with a pin. We're only rolling it one way, forming an oval. Once we form an oval, we're gonna fold this and set it aside temporarily. Now we're gonna move on to dough number two. Everything we did for dough number one, we're gonna do exactly for dough number two. 
Again, we're going to flatten the dough with our palm and then roll it with the pin trying to form a circle. Once we form the circle, we're going to place dough number 3 in the middle of dough number 2 and we're going to wrap it again. I don't know how necessary it is to close it all the way during this stage, but do it anyways, just in case. And then again, we're going to flatten it and then roll it into an oval and fold it on top of each other and then set it aside once we've done this to all the doughs. They should look like this. Next, we're going to take our dough and roll it into a rectangle. Once we have a rectangle, we're going to fold it and then roll it again. What we're doing here is we're creating layers. I don't know if any of you guys have made puff pastry before, but it's basically the same concept. After folding it two times, we're just going to roll it into a square and then set it aside. Now we're going to repeat this whole process again with dough number two. And again guys, dough number one and dough number two is exactly the same. The reason why I have two different colors is because the final product has two different layers of colors as well. Realistically, the only dough we need to make this is dough number one. Once we've folded and flattened both doughs out, we're going to place it on top of each other and give it a little roll. Using a cutter, we're going to cut it into a perfect circle. We're going to roll this dough out a little bigger or until the dough is half a centimeter thick. Once rolled out, right in the middle of this dough, we're going to place the marzipan. We're going to wrap the marzipan with our two layer dough and this time for sure we have to close the bottom. Make sure you pinch it well. Once it's all closed up, we're going to form this into a ball. We should have three balls all equal in size. Next, we're going to make three cuts on top. This will give us six triangles. And it should look like this. Now it's finally time to cook. In the pot of oil at 250 degrees Fahrenheit, we're going to drop in our dough. It's very important that this oil is not too hot or it will burn. We're going to fry this dough for about 5 minutes. It should automatically open up but you can use your chopsticks to give it a little push. After 5 minutes, it should look like this. Now let's plate. Alright, it's time to eat this. This thing has been sitting out for about 15 minutes, but look at it, it's still so flaky and crispy. Mmm, delicious. After that bite, this pastry reminds me of the pastry you would get at a dim sum place. I could honestly say this is a really good dessert. I'm not a big fan of almonds, so if I was to remake this again, I'd probably put a red bean paste or some sort of coconut filling. 
Overall, it's a really good dish. The only thing I didn't like about this is that the flower didn't bloom as much as I would like it to. If I was to do this again, I would put a deeper incision that will touch all the way to the bottom. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that episode and don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>